Yo, yo, people, welcome back to Ron's Tech Hub. And in this one, I have something really exciting to show you guys. I have a rack, a RAK hotspot miner. So that blue box is probably the most interesting stroke important thing I've had sent to me in quite a while. Let's jump into this one. Right, so anyone that knows me and knows me well know I'm knows I'm a big fan of crypto and mining is my preferred choice of obtaining crypto. And these tiny miners like the RAK or the Rack miner, they're amazing because they're really low power, really small, some of them even passively cooled. They make no noise and you're earning money passively simply by having it in a decent enough location. Now, I live close to a busy high street or a high road as some people call it. So hopefully I can have this one at home um, making some good money and probably have it in my friend's shop as well. So let's see what's in the box. Honestly, as soon as I got this, I opened it. I, I just couldn't wait. I wanted to see what was inside of it. I totally forgot about the unboxing experience, but I haven't actually taken anything out. So don't watch the box. Don't worry about how the box looks. Let me let me just open quickly. That's what we have um, under here. Let me move this a bit closer. Uh, under here, we have the RAK Miner. Under here, we have the Quick Start Guide. So let's quickly have a look at that and see what we have in the box. All right, so here we go. Uh, on the front, we just have the getting started um, and what it should look like. On the back, we have the instructions. So three simple steps. And on the inside, we also have more steps. And also um, there's a 12 digit, or not 12 digit, sorry, a 12 word um, password or, or, or key gen you will have to have and you can write it down here I, I would personally write it in multiple places and on this side again we have more instructions I'm not going to look at this quite yet I'm going to put this back and I'm going to actually go ahead and look at the device so what's actually inside the box all right so removing this black film this black foam um, see nothing there we are greeted with uh, the Raspberry Pi and the case so this is the actual case all right so let's have a look at that i'll block out what needs blocking out and here we have a raspberry pi official usb-c power plug so this is actually what you use to power it now this specifically has, I think it was five volts and three amps. So you should get roughly 15 watts. Uh, yeah, 5.1 volts and three amps. So in the bar, um, ballpark of 15 um, watts, you can use other power supplies, but the Raspberry Pi 3, I remember it, it having issues with the power supply when it was just released. So I wouldn't recommend using anything else but the one that comes in the box. Here we have the antenna that we have to screw onto it. So I'll just show you that there quickly. Now I'm going to push. Oh, here we have, I believe that this is the plug for the antenna. Okay, I'm going to put these to one side. I'm going to see what's under here. I'm guessing nothing, but let's just have a look anyway. Yep, absolutely nothing. I'm going to close this. All right, so once again, here we have everything laid out. This is the actual case and the miner inside itself. And again, inside here, we have a Raspberry Pi. Now, in the early days of RAK or Rack, you were able to put the operating system on here and, and do all this stuff yourself. But I believe in recent times, they've actually blocked that. So you have to just buy the entire thing from them. Software comes installed and all you have to do is plug in the power cable and screw the antenna on. So again, that's the Rack miner itself. This is the USB-C power cable. So this is a Raspberry Pi one. This is a Raspberry Pi 4, I believe, which is 3.1 volt, uh, sorry, 3 amps, 5.1 volts. This is the antenna. I do have to double check the specs of this antenna. And here we have the getting started guide. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, screw the antenna on and actually go through the instructions quickly. All right, so here we have the USB-C power cable. Oh, already tore that, wonderful. I actually have a Raspberry Pi 4, and I do have to say these cables, these plugs feel really well made. So hopefully that's the case here. 
I can tell this is a Raspberry Pi 4 because it actually has a USB-C power cable. All the previous Raspberry Pis, except for one, um, I believe had the USB, uh, the micro USB power cable. So this is the first one with the actual USB-C cable. So just going to plug that in. I'm going to put this to one side. 